G'day folks, this morning I'm going trout fishing with lures in dirty water in a small little overgrown stream. Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. Now we had quite a lot of rain last night. Wangaratta where I live had about half an inch. Up here in the hills they had between one and two inches. Some places had over three inches. There's quite a lot of water coming down. Most of the streams are going to be really high and dirty. I've chosen this little stream. Even though it's quite dirty and quite off colour, I think it's clearer than what a lot of other streams will be. Anyway, what lures am I going to be using? Ta-da! Here we have the Tackle Club Trout and Redfin Box for September. This is what I'm using. Whatever's in here is what I'm using. It's going to be extra challenging given that the water's dirty. Hopefully there's something nice and bright in here. Let's have a look. Alright, I'll look at that after. We've got a sticker. We have... A Berkeley Protec Minnow. I've used these in the past in my Tackle Club uh, Tackle Club videos and I've done really, really well in small streams too. Although that looks like it might dive slightly deeper. Anyway, look at that. That's a pretty cool looking thing. A bobsleigh. A Domeki bobsleigh, 4 gram. It's a soft plastic pre-rigged. Looks like a little shark. I might even start off with that. That looks really cool. See so how we go. We've got a Rapala lipless crankbait. Rapala... Ultra Light Ripper, I think it's called a Ripping Shadow or something. I'll find out when I read this white bit of paper in a minute. Lipless crankbaits, that's a vibe. It's a they vibrate. They are they are in their best when yellow belly fishing. Redfin love them too, and I have no doubt you'd catch trout on them. Awesome little lure. I'm gonna be using that at Lake Nilakuti soon, I reckon. Give that a crack. Or Lake Buffalo. We have a TT switchblade. I've caught a lot of trout on these over the years. TT switchblade blades are very, very good for both trout and redfin and yellow belly. It's a good box this month. Bloody ripper. We've got a Kong spoon. A Kong spoon. Two grams. Nice and light. It's like a little micro spoon with a set of feathers on the end. I've caught a lot of trout on spoons. I've used the Strike Tiger micro spoons. But this is a Kong spoon. Damiki. It's from Damiki. That looks really cool. And we've got human humungalures. Humunculars. I can never remember. Pontoon 21. Pontoon 21 jilt curl tail grubs, 2 inch curl tail grubs. So I'll just quickly recap as I put them back in. I've got a Rapala lipless crank blade, lip, lipless crank bait, a TT switchblade, a Domeki bobsleigh, a Berkeley Protec, a Domeki Kong uh, spoon, little spoon, and some Pontoon 21 soft plastics. What's the wrap up? Now before I forget, this little barcode here, if you scan that with your phone, that will open up the online uh, the online website. You might even be able to scan it on your TV screen if you're lucky. Um, that will open up the online website for Tackle Club, which will demonstrate different lures, techniques, tips and tricks, and lots of other info. Right, Rapala Ultralight Ripping Wrap, $17, $16.99. Berkeley Protect Twitcher, $16.99. TT Switchblade, one eighth of an ounce, $13.95. Pontoon 21 Soft Plastics, $11.99, Domeki Kong Spoon, $12.99, and Domeki Bob Slay, 55ml, $8.99. Total value, $81.90, but if you, are, if you get it through Tackle Club, you get it for $49.99. Right, now I'll say something I've said a million times before. This is the September Tackle Club box. It varies, different, it varies each month. If you go and order an October box... It won't be like that. It will be something different, but of equal or similar value and equal of similar quality. They vary every month. Tackle Club is like a lucky dip. You never know what you're going to get. This is the September box, and I reckon for 50 bucks, there's some bloody good lures in there. Which one will I start off with? I don't really know how dirty the water is just yet. I might start with this. The first hole I'm going to be fishing, I've got a, it's downstream. I might... <laughs> I might just start with this little minnow and see how it goes. I'll start with the, Ber the Berkeley Protec and see how that goes. Now you might recognise this creek from a video that I shared during the trout close season from my vault, from the vault series. Very, very overgrown. I pruned my way down to the creek for ages and caught one little trout. I'm hoping that it's not as overgrown and I can get through. I'm hoping that my pruning work is still intact. <laughs> it hasn't overgrown too much. The reason being, guess what I forgot? My fishing bag. I thought, I don't need my lures, I only need my uh, tackle club box, so I don't need, didn't even worry about it. I forgot that I still need to carry the tackle club box, and then it's got my secateurs in it and my little handsaw. So what I've done, I've put the box in a, a supermarket bag, and I'll just tuck that into the side of my pants. Well, I've just stopped here to catch my breath, and I've just tied on my little Berkeley Protect Twitcher from the tackle club box. The creek doesn't look too bad, it's certainly, 
it's, it's off colour and it's carrying a lot more water than normal but it's not putrid I reckon it's definitely fishable with lures this was probably the most overgrown this is where I've done a fair bit of sawing and pruning right here and look it's uh it's not too bad at all beautiful thanks Robbie you've done a good job mate hanging that box from my hip didn't work so I've got it under my shirt it's not very comfortable <laughs> high very high not putrid but not real clear either oh look at that very first cast I might have been very first cast was like two foot long <laughs> Can you believe? I can't even believe I'd just done that <laughs> can you believe I just done that <laughs> very pretty little juvenile rainbow trout see you later mate not putrid but not real clear either oh look at that not putrid but not real clear either oh look at that just to give you a bit of an idea of just how high the creek is check this out look at the water flowing over all this green grass usually there's just a little bit of water flowing down over the gravel through there and down around the corner there it uh, might look okay but certainly very high There's rings on the side of the creek up there. Is that a fish feeding? Oh, got him. Did you see that? Oh, it's tiny. Look at the size of it. I'll tell you what happened. I'll, I'll unhook him and get him back. Gee whiz. I know this is a small stream and it's got small stream, small trout. But there are bigger trout in here than that. <laughs> he's a tiny little fish. I'll tell you what just happened. When I was making my way upstream like I always do, when I was back there I said I thought I saw a few rings, they were right here in front of this tussock, but nothing came out, so I've come up here and I'm making my way up, and I thought I might just put that there, just have a bit of a twitch in the, in the current there, the current will hold it in position, and I put it in and it twitch, 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 and bang, he grabbed it. You wouldn't get away with that in clear water because the fish would see me, but because the water's so dirty, I, uh, it makes it a bit easier for me to get away with. But there are bigger trout in here than that. But there are bigger trout in here than that. Cold, cold, cold. Cold. So cold. Oh, big swipe. He didn't hit it, he might come back. All I saw was a real big swipe. Everything's real big. Oh, there he is again. He's following, he's following. Look at the waves, look at the waves. Where'd he go? He wants it, but he, I just can't work it properly because of this tussock. I'm trying to twitch it like I'm supposed to. It is a twitch minnow after all. Got him. Whoa! He pull and drag. He's a nice fish. Gee whiz! I twitched it. The, I hooked the trout twitching a twitch minnow. I haven't even got a visual on him yet. He's fighting like buggery. He must be a half decent fish. Two, 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 I've caught the two smallest fish in that creek and provided I don't lose it I might be about to catch the biggest. That is so heavy. This is an epic fight. Oh, I just got a little bit of colour in the dirty water. It's so hard to see it. Where was it going? Oh, this is this is the most epic uh, trout fight. He might not be uh, he might not be super long, but I bet he's in good condition. Gee whiz, he's gone right down there. This, <laughs> this is the biggest trout fight that I've had on a YouTube video for a long time. I hope I'm recording. I wanna I wanna check my camera, but I don't want to let go of my reel. This bit of weight in this fish. Whoa, did you see that? <sighs> Looks like it might even be 40 centimetres long. And he's coming back up. Wish I brought that net that Brendan gave me. I only just filmed my mail time segment, actually. 
you might not have seen that yet. I'm not sure which one I'm going to upload first. Shh, stop talking about the mile time segment, Robbie. I need to check if I'm filming, but I'm scared I'm going to lose him. I don't know what I'll do. I'm going to push stop and then start again. So there's a cut in the screen. That's why. Ready? Stop. Right. I was definitely filming. I hit stop and then I started it again. So I was on. I'm a bit more relaxed. This is next level. Oh, she wrapped me around all that stuff. I'm literally standing up to my knees in icy cold water, which most of it, most of which fell from the sky just last night. Fighting this very energetic rainbow trout. Oh, he keeps wrapping me around all these reeds. There he is. I've got a visual. I've got a visual. Look at this. I didn't bring a camera of any kind because I didn't bring me bag. I didn't bring me phone. I didn't bring any good camera. I can take photos with my GoPro actually. What I'll do, I'll get it out and I'll take a put and I'll, I'll land it without my net that I'm not telling you about just yet. And I'll uh, get a GoPro photo. He's wearing out, but gee whiz, look, he's put a lot of stamina. <laughs> the Berkeley Twitch Minnow. I couldn't retrieve it properly because of all the reeds, so I twitched it a few times. And then holy moly, that is a horse of a fish. He's actually hooked in the head. He's not even hooked in the mouth. He's, I'd say the front hook probably come out. Maybe he was hooked in the front at one stage. Jeez, <laughs> Just about to land him, but he had other ideas. <sighs> he's wearing out, he's wearing out. Just playing him with my anti-reverse here. He is tiring at last. So much energy. This is the best trout fight that I've had for a long time. I suspect it could be because the lure's in his top of his head as well, so he's towing it. But it's still a damn good fish. Come on, buddy. Come on, look at the size of that from this little creek. Oh, Jesus. Look at this. My godfather. That's oh, epic. That is epic and I can't get a decent photo, but I'm gonna, gonna, gonna get a GoPro photo. <laughs> well, folks, have a look at that. That has got to be a good 45 to 47 centimeters and very, very fat rainbow trout. That is epic. See you later, mate. Off he goes. Oh, wow. Well, folks, <laughs> that was without doubt one of the more memorable uh, trout fishing experiences. And next winter, when I'm finding it hard to catch fish and I don't make a top five trout fishing moments, I reckon you can expect to see that one again. I caught it on the Twitch Minnow. I was, uh, it's called a Berkeley Twitch Minnow. It's designed to be twitched. You twitch it and it darts around a bit. I'd made a couple of casts through, but I couldn't work it because I was standing behind this big tussock and it swiped a couple of times. So I thought, stuff it, I'll twitch it. I mean, twitch, 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 twitch. And he, he grabbed it just here, twitching it. Deep, 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 deep in my testicles. Oh, not quite. Deep. Missed by that much. Now I'll be leaving a link in the video description below to where you can find Tackle Club online at tackleclub.com.au and if you use my discount code ROBBIE10 you'll get 10% off any individual purchases and if you take out a subscription the code to use is ROBBIE10S As light rain starts to fall from the sky I've just changed to the Tamiki 1.5 grand gong spoon little spoon I'll give that a swim and see how it goes I've moved upstream a little bit here Water might be a little bit clearer if I'm lucky, although it still looks pretty murky. Just spooked a trout, but I was just about to stop and make a cast. Sort of wishing I'd stop from one step back. Oh, he's followed it anyway. Oh, got him. Oh, he's a nice fish. I thought I'd spooked him. Lovely rainbow on the little gong. The Domeki gong spoon. Where is it? It's wrapped around the bloody grass. That's very beauty. Lovely rainbow. Taking on the Domeki Gong Spoon. 
sun's up and gone, hey? Another beautiful rainbow. Not nearly as big as that other one, but it's a little big. I was just thinking, I think that might even be the biggest rainbow trout that I've ever caught. That just popped out of there. Is that a barbless hook? I think it is. There you go. Lovely rainbow on the Damiki Gong. The Gong Spoon. See you later, mate. Just when I thought I'd spooked him, he came back, or she, or whatever it was. Now, that just popped out. It is too, that's a barbless hook. So there's a discovery, the Gong 1.5 gram spoon is a barbless hook, and I didn't lose the fish, so that's really cool. Certainly helps with catch and release. You can see the bottom here. That's not very common in this creek at the moment. But i tell you what, I bet you after last night's rain, that it's more common in this creek than any other creek in the region. Oh, was a swipe? Did you come back? No. Something just swiped. It didn't look huge. It didn't feel any weight because he didn't hit it. So, if I'm lucky, he might come back. Or not. Oh, there he goes. Tiny. He's tiny. He's one of those first two weeny little fish I caught. Oh, look at that. He can't, <laughs> he's so small. It's a fingerling. Oh, you swiped it then. He swiped it a few times, but he is, I think he's big enough to get caught. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> I've had a blast. That big rainbow trout was the biggest rainbow trout that I've caught for as long as I can remember. It was massive. It was a massive rainbow trout for such a small stream. Ah, Tackle Club, you've done it again. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and join me on my next fishing adventure.